Daytime with Aston Avery, Stephen Smith's with me. And joining us right now is best-selling author, screenwriter, ambassador of Idas. Uh, that is a regular Samantha Lee Howe. Welcome, Samantha. Oh, hello, Aston. Hello, Stephen. Nice to oh, see hi. you. Aston, what is Idas? Idas? I don't know what that is. Anyway, but I'm sure, I'm sure <laughs> Samantha... Sure I am sure that Samantha will explain more in in due course here, but Samantha, obviously, we're talking about Valentine's Day here. So what are you planning for Valentine's Day? What are you going to be doing for Valentine's Day? Well, I'm going to be in a, a, an airport hotel tomorrow night with my husband because oh, we're on our off. way... <laughs> We've got an, a lunchtime flight on Wednesday to Los Angeles, so... <laughs> Uh, it's going to be quite nice anyway. We're going to have a lovely meal, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, a nice meal, though. That's that's nice. I'm glad you're going with your husband. I was a bit concerned there when you said you were going to be at airport hotel. <laughs> uh, Sam, are you a romantic? Um, sometimes. I'm not always, but m sometimes I am. Yes, my my husband David is more ro romantic than I am. To be honest, he's a lot more romantic than I am. But um, nice. I, I thought you'd be quite romantic. I am um, sometimes. I am. It depends, you know. I, I, I'm always got my mind's always elsewhere, so I often <laughs> spoil romantic moments because <laughs> I'm going. Oh, don't you think I should be? <laughs> <laughs> so love is in the air. But have you ever written a romantic novel, there, uh, Samantha? But also, as well, not only novel. What is your favourite romantic movie? Oh, my favourite romantic movie as actually, um, I've got a few, but I love Pretty Woman. Um, I haven't seen it for a long time, but I really need to see that again, because I think that's like, I love that real rags to riches type of movie. And I also love The Holiday at Christmas with Cameron Diaz and um, Rufus Sewell. I love that. I love that film. I never get why people think Pretty Woman is a romantic movie, because I think it's about a prostitute that's fallen on hard times. OK, she has a nice time, but it really is teaching nothing to kids. <laughs> <laughs> I never have got have that. And, and Julia Roberts, I've never thought once looked like she came off West Hollywood Drive. Uh, I, I think I also think Pretty Woman is the most overrated movie ever. <laughs> I'll so, so say funny. it like it is, Stephen. Don't hold back. I just don't get it. <laughs> No, I just don't get why people think Pretty Woman is a romantic movie. But I know so. I mean, Sherry, my one of my best friends, went for her her uh, hen night to this see the musical The West Night, The West End, and, and the doors. And so many people say to me, "My favorite romantic." Movie. I thought, I, I, "Have you actually watched it? It's about a prostitute. <laughs> hey, it doesn't look, look anything like, it, and it's not going to happen in real life." Anyway, oh, I think it's that love overcomes the obstacle of the fact that she's had this, you know, terrible start in life, really. I think that's what I like about it. And Richard Gere is definitely at his peak. So <laughs> yeah, you, know, you have to think love actually that does educate people as well. Oh, yes. right. oh actually. Oh, that's nice. That's, that, that'd be one yeah. of my favorite one of my favorite uh romantic movies. What's the most romantic thing someone's done for you, Sam? It was definitely my proposal from David because um, I wasn't expecting it. It's, it's. I think it had been on the cards for a while, but I kept thinking it was never going to happen. So when he actually did propose, it wasn't really a proposal. He gave me a box with a ring in it, and I looked at it and I said, "What does this mean?" And he and he was like, "I said, does this mean something?" He said, "Yeah, yes, not just a birthday present. It was on my birthday." And I said, "Does it? Are you proposing to me, David?" And he couldn't speak. Bless him. He was really, oh. he was really overwhelmed. And and so he was like just nodding like this. Yes, yes. <laughs> so it was lovely. It was really. It was just so him and beautiful. Um, but I think yeah, that was probably the most romantic moment I've ever had in my life. Really. Did you say yes right away? Oh yes, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and I went and booked the wedding within a day or two. <laughs> <laughs> had it all sorted a year in advance <laughs> so that being said here uh Sam samantha you're an ambassador of idas which is a domestic abuse charity as well so yes. obviously you have a charity event coming up can you tell us a bit more about idas and also about the charity event you've got coming up as well certainly yes um idas is independent domestic abuse services and they're based in yorkshire and they are a wonderful service. They started life originally as a oh, ladies, oh, as a woman's refuge um, to, you know, give somebody a place for people to go 
when they were, you know, obviously escaping a domestic abuse situation. And now they represent all people, males, female, all genders, and they are there to support them. And they're, they're offering an amazing service, um, they're serving about 25,000 people a year they're helping at the moment. Um, and so what we're doing is we're doing a, a charity screening of The Stranger in Our Bed, the movie. And um, myself and Terry Dwyer will be there. We're going to do a Q&A afterwards. And all the proceeds, the tickets are £12. It's taking place at the Peniston uh, Paramount Cinema. And all the tickets, price, whole price, £12. Each ticket will go straight to IDAS. Nobody else is going to get benefit at all from that. And uh, there's going to be a raffle. There's going to be hopefully some uh, celebrities there and some media and, and some media hope. So <laughs> come along and dress to impress if you're if you're in the area. Do you have any family up in Yorkshire? Um, da, 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 not that I can think of. I know I used to have an aunt that lived in Manchester. Anyway, so that was oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Oh, oh, cool. Well, listen, you, you, you're great with charity. I have to say, last year you sponsored Anna Kennedy Online's Autism Hero Awards, and on top of, on top of that, you're going to be a judge this year. Um, I mean, you do lots. How, how, what did you feel about the whole autism? Uh, uh, award ceremony. Did you did you did you enjoy doing it? Oh, I loved it. It was it was such. I mean, I was so blown away by the talent I saw last year, and that was just going to the Autism Hero Awards. I saw yeah. some of the autistic um, talent that had won the awards, uh, won won the Autistic Hero Awards before that. This year, I'm really looking forward to being taking my involvement into a different level of, yeah. of judging as well. And obviously we have got relatives that have got autism. Myself, I'm quite on the spectrum. <laughs> as well. A lot of autistic people are on the spectrum and more and more people are being diagnosed or aware of it, I think, which is really important. Thanks to people like Aston and Kennedy, uh, her out there talking about it. People are now realizing that, you know, that <laughs> there, are, there are people living with, with us that haven't been diagnosed and getting diagnosed later in life. Uh, and it's important. Right. It it's true, really, because then you've got to look at the uh, those in the uh, public eye now. They're actually coming out with it as well. Like they're yeah. saying they've been diagnosed as well. So you've had, you've had there have been some recent ones as well on that. So it's brilliant to see that everyone's uh, like raising awareness, et cetera, here. I mean, that's what I will say. Education is the way forward. And uh, when I say education, talking about it, thanks to people like you, Aston, and uh, going out there talking about it, people be, uh, begin to have conversations about it. It's not something my, I think my parents would even understand way back in the, uh, the 70s. Uh, they would think, well, what, what is that? Uh, and schools didn't realise what it was either, did they? A lot of people were put down as being uh, terribly badly behaved, uh, troubled childs, when in fact they were actually living with something that, that people didn't understand. Absolutely. And I think the more, more we talk about it now, the better, because it does make you realise that yeah. um, there are so many more, more people out there that have it, you yeah. know, and different levels of. Um, yeah. And it's not, it's not, you know, it shouldn't be... Um, you know, it shouldn't be stigmatised anymore yeah. either. No, nah, it shouldn't be. And uh, as you said earlier, Samantha, you're off to the USA, yeah. of course, where they love your <laughs> books. So uh, <laughs> apart from like going off to the USA, what are you going to be going up to over there? Well, I'm going to be uh, a guest with my husband, David J. Howe, at um, the Gallifrey One convention in Los Angeles. And we'll be there on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday is the convention. Um, and it's it's just amazing. We like to go every year. I hope it goes on forever because <laughs> I want to go every year. Um, it's amazing fun. Um, some super guests there as well. And and then also we're going to get to see some friends, I hope, because we've we've been going so often now that we've, we've got quite a few friends over there. So I hope to catch up with a few friends and have a bit of downtime as well for a few days. And you're taking that huge superstar with you, Fraser, Fraser Hines, aren't you? We are. And Fraser will be with us in the airport hotel tomorrow night. So um, it's oh, been the three musketeers yeah, for Valentine's night. <laughs> 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 well, do you know what to say to that? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, how can people find you? Um, you can go to my website, www.samanthalee, that's L-E-E, how, H-O-W-E, .co.uk 
Um, you can find me on Facebook, Samantha Lee Howe um, Thrillers is, is my Facebook fan page. And I'm also on Instagram as Samantha Lee Howe. So come well, along and follow and say hello. <laughs> have a happy Valentine's give a val- Day. Give a follow. Happy Valentine's Day, Samantha. And thank you for joining Stephen and I today. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great week. Bye. 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 Bye.